With Black Ops 4's reveal trailer earlier today, people are already placing their positive and negative opinions about the game, and which is obviously reasonable, but they are not going into detail about the few things that are actually mainly focused about what's going to happen in the next Call of Duty, which is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're on a fantastic day. My name is Rose here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about five things that you are going to want to focus on whether it's the gameplay, zombies, maybe even the battle royale in the game that you're going to want to pay attention to before you place any opinions. Now before I get into today's video, just to let you guys know that I'm just going to have Fortnite in the background. It's not going to be the most intense gameplay or anything, but I just do not want to actually end up screenshotting anything that's from the game, from the trailer or anything like that. I do have videos of like some zombies and uh, part of the battle royale, but I do not want to risk posting anything because I do not want to get copyrighted for anything. So just for you guys to understand why I'm not doing that, that's the reason why. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To start off number one with this list is going to be specialists. Now I know specialists are obviously going to be heavily focused on, but there's one piece of the puzzle that you're not going to actually focus on, which is the fact that this is actually boots on the ground Call of Duty. Now, in Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3 was the first game to introduce specialists, but Black Ops 3 had uh, boost jumps, wall running, and things like that. But this game obviously quite isn't like that so the specialist in this game we already know that we're gonna have ruin back which is pretty much the same concept with the gravity spikes except it has a, he has a little bit of a different tool but he also has a grappling hook if you did not see the clip as well as another uh specialist that we they're bringing back is going to be fire break now I think there's going to be a different concept with Firebreak as I saw. I'm not sure if it was a grenade of any sorts or if it was actually part of the Firebreak. But what happened was they placed an item and the entire other team on the other side of whatever kind of object they were behind all lit up in flames. Now, I'm not sure if that was part of the Firebreak or if that was just a, obviously like I said, like a grenade or some kind of uh, score streak or something like that. So, score streaks are going to be very vital in this game because you do not have the thrust jumps and stuff like that. So, let's say, for example, you have the gravity spikes. You cannot boost up 2,000 miles into the fucking air and come back down with gravity spikes without anybody seeing you. No. In this game, you're going to be on the ground, and as soon as you use the gravity spikes, you're going to go up a few feet and come back down and hit the next person. Now, they're either going to have enough time to react as soon as they see you, or if you hear them, you're going to be able to do it a couple of seconds before they even know you're there and then you're gonna have the entire advantage against either one person or maybe an entire team around the corner so that's one huge complete different thing when it comes to specialists that most people are not gonna be thinking about they're most likely gonna be thinking about oh shit specialists are coming back I hated this shit in black ops 3 it was so annoying I hated the arrow I hated the purifier whatever you found annoying it's probably going to be a lot more different in Black Ops 4, like I said, because it does not have thrust jumping or wall running. Now for number two on this list is going to be zombies. Now I know most people are going to be like, oh, there's nothing different about zombies. It's just a completely stupid ass story. It looks really old fashioned and shit. No, look, okay, put this into a perspective. This is going to be an entirely different chapter, as Jason said, and two of them at least are going to be a different chapter. The third map is going to be, if you haven't seen it already, it's going to be a Mob of the Dead remake with our favorite characters, Richtof and Nikolai, Takiao and Dempsey. And anyways, that map's going to be pretty good. We can all agree on that. We all love Mob of the Dead. But the first couple of maps you might think are trash. We know if, uh, what, what the fuck is that game called? Infinite Warfare. I haven't played that game in years. Sorry, I couldn't remember the game. Sorry if you love that game. But that we all know that that zombie sucked. It, it was more of a fun zombies instead of a storyline kind of zombies. And World War II zombies, I think most of us can agree that that one really sucked compared to it's we all know it's nothing compared to black ops 2 or anything like that we can at least say that so black ops 4 zombies is going to be having an entirely different storyline with four different characters now i do not remember any of their names i should have written them down since i was going to do this but he said them once i don't remember the names of them so just get over it whoever's going to complain about that and my opinion i'm going to give my opinion real quick i know y'all probably won't care about it but I think it's going to be really different because we know one map is going to be on a futuristic, uh, not futuristic, but it's going to be on a boat. It's going to look really nice compared to the first map, which is going to be really uh, gladiatorial, I guess that's the word to say. And 
we can't judge an entire zombies map based off of one spot. You think five was if you saw a trailer, you would think it's probably just the entire zombies map was that little spot that you uh, spawned in. No, this map is has to be more to it other than what you see at the beginning. Now the whatever it was, the boat. There's gonna be a lot more interesting. I think we can all agree that that one looks a little bit better than the first one, but we never know because he even said something about that the past was or the past zombies were based off of you know like time travel and shit like that. So maybe we might get begin that same kind of concept in this storyline. Maybe we won't, but this will be very interesting. So don't judge that first map by the way it looks. The second map is gonna be. We can tell that that's going to have a really deep story considering the way it started off and how everything went into, you know, how, if you saw it, how it went into, you know, the guy stole the keys, they got into the little safe, got the thing. And I don't want to theorize or anything, but we can all tell that that little mirror looking thing is going to have a huge effect. It's going to be like that little ball that they had in black ops 3 i don't know what it was the interdimensional something i don't know what the fuck it was but somebody correct me somebody put in the comments i don't remember what it was called but it's going to be really related to that except that thing turns the outside people that aren't in the little aura into zombies so we know that that's going to be a huge part of the storyline so we already know a little bit of the pieces that we need into the storyline and i don't know if we've gotten that much from other trailers from other zombies maps Continue on with number three on this list is going to be the fact that we have boots on the ground. Now, I know we had World War II, which was boots on the ground, but this is going to be a little bit different. And I say that because this is Treyarch. Now, personally, I really liked BO3. I mean, there was a lot of problems that made me hate it at times, but it, for, how do I say this? For a game that Treyarch had not made with uh, something that was not boots on the ground, it turned out really well in my personal opinion i don't know if anybody else really enjoyed it but i know i really did but this is treyarch making the boots on the ground and we know black ops 2 and black ops 1 were one of the, in my opinion the top three games i would say black ops 1 and then black ops 2 were probably the second and third best games they ever made and now they're coming out with black ops 4 which the only difference is is that they have specialists in it. We always talked about that, so that's that's not going to be too much into this. But there's not going to be much about this. It's just that when people see boots on the ground, they're thinking, "Oh, okay, so we're going back to our original. Hopefully, it's not as trash as World War Two or yeah, World War Two. But you, nobody, I don't think, is really thinking of the fact that this is actually going to be Treyarch's game. Now, with Treyarch's game, we all know, we all love Treyarch, and we all know that they make amazing games, amazing weapons, amazing score streaks, whatever you can think of. Everything they do is just really amazing. And now that they're coming back on boots on the ground, but with specialists, we have to know that this is going to be really interesting. Now, I'm sorry I keep saying we have to know, but this is an entire community thing, and everything comes down to what everybody thinks of, and with Boots on the Ground and Specialists, this is going to be very interesting, especially with who's making it, because they for sure know what they're doing, and we have to see how it turns out with Specialists. Now, they're not going to be all the same, for sure. We know Ruin and... Uh, Firebreaker coming back but obviously those are really close range items that they had in Black Ops 3 now in this game it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot tighter space maps are gonna be a little bit smaller and maybe they might even be bigger we never know but more than likely they're gonna be smaller considering what we're doing so that's really all that's need to be said about that it's not much but there you just have to put all those things into one little perspective and you can kind of picture the things that most people won't really mention in other videos now with number four on this list, it's not going to be that detailed, but this is something that really caught my attention and I'm not sure if anybody is really going into detail about what this actually is going to do to the entire community, whether it's veterans or it's newcomers to Call of Duty or games period, which is, I believe it's called Recoil Pattern, which is going to be, to my understanding, which, before I say anything, I'm not that technical with this, but 
the way I kind of perceived it is that this is going to be something that you're actually going to be able to tell where your shots are going. And in the past Call of Duties, you would shoot and you would probably end up complaining, like, how did my shots miss? But now I believe you're actually going to be able to see where your shots are going and you're actually going to be able to adjust maybe your sensitivity or attachments, whatever it is you need to actually be able to get your shots where you want it to be. And there is, I believe, attachments that are going to be... This is a little bit different than what I'm talking about, but just to add it in there. There's going to be attachments to, and I believe it's called a Titan LMG, and um, I'm not really sure how they explain it, but whenever you shoot and they're behind the wall, this is what happened in it, that the shots that are actually going, that you see, I know I'm trying to, I'm explaining this a little slow, but I'm trying to like make sure I sound as smart as possible with it, but wherever you shoot they don't actually see where the shot is going which i believe that's what it's doing but that's something that's going to be really effective in this game because you, the person that's camping in a corner is not going to be able to see where you're shooting but you're going to know where you're shooting so when he pops out you might actually be able to get the first shot on him i think that's what it is but i'm not entirely sure anybody can correct me on that but that's what i kind of understood when i saw it now, of course, I had to save the absolute best for last, which, if you do not know anything about Black Ops 4, do not see anything about it, or if you just hate this concept, whatever it is, they're adding Battle Royale to Black Ops 4. I believe they said 100 player uh, entire map. They're going to be adding your favorite maps into one entire map and just an entire cluster, just like Fortnite. You have like Salty Springs that'll probably be like, let's say, Standoff. You have Tilted Towers as maybe like Nuketown. You'll have, let's say, Anarchy as, what's another map? Um, Summit. Any, things like that. That's going to be, to me, Battle Royale is going to be a huge thing to this because of how popular Fortnite, PUBG, H1Z1 is coming to PS4 and... Um, what's the other game? Rules of Survival. I know maybe not a lot of you know about the game, but it's a pretty good game. If you haven't tried it, go try it. Maybe on mobile. That's what I did on it. It was pretty fucking fun. But all those games are becoming so popular with Battle Royale. So, of course, they had to add Battle Royale to Black Ops 4. Now, the skins, like how we have, like, the Arctic Assassin or whatever it's called, um, in Black Ops 4, it's going to be some your favorite zombie characters. You're going to have your favorite campaign characters. Uh, you're gonna have all zombies, a lot of zombies characters, a lot of campaign characters, I believe some multiplayer uh, characters, and you're gonna have a lot of weapons from different games, I believe, that uh, into the game that you used to use that were always your favorite, unless it's like, you know, probably the crappy weapons, like the pistols and stuff, like in Fortnite, you're gonna have that in there. And another thing is going to be the fact that it's going to have vehicles. So we know that this is probably going to be the size of PUBG. PUBG, if you have not played it and you're a Fortnite player, PUBG is an insanely large map. And when it comes to, let's say, let's say for example, you're at Junk Junction and the circle is all the way down at like Moisty Mire and stuff. That's like an entire you need a car for that so once you get a car you're good if you don't get a car you're probably gonna want to leave at the like three minute mark just so you can make it you'll probably need bandages too because you'll still more than likely take damage but this is gonna be a huge map if they're gonna be adding vehicles they're gonna be adding vehicles from the old Call of Duty games the campaign games I believe as well as I think they might add a couple from multiplayer like just the little cars that would sit in the middle and stuff like Nuketown and stuff like that I think they'll be adding that that's what I'm hoping for especially to use the Nuketown cars because you know we all would sit there and blow them up and stuff like that and then now they might even add it so that would be really cool to add but battle royale is going to be a huge thing we all are the people that hate it are really the people that do not actually play battle royale games and they just you know the the people that complain about PUBG versus Fortnite and Fortnite versus PUBG they if they're a Call of Duty player they're going to come to Call of Duty and be able to play battle royale on it without having to complain about Fortnite and PUBG now the people that don't like the fact that they're adding battle royale to Call of Duty actually need to think about the fact that they're going to be making a lot more money as well as bring a huge entire uh community into it that play these games right here that we're, you're watching and the games that 
you know other people compete against and stuff like that so this is going to be an entire other fucking communities that are going to be brought here just because they brought a battle royale into it and those guys are going to want to play only that and then if they like that they might even start playing the entire call of duty game just for call of duty so battle royale you might not like it but you have to understand what Call of Duty and Treyarch is trying to do for their company and for their game and for their community. So if you don't like it, then you gotta at least understand that this is gonna help out the entire community. Whether after a while they don't like it, but and then at the beginning they just all came to play it. They're gonna make a lot of money just from the people that started come to it just to play that. So. Anyways, those are my five things that I personally think that you all need to focus on that are going to make a huge difference in this new Call of Duty that most of you guys are either not going to focus on personally or you guys are not going to hear a lot around the YouTube uh, community, maybe even Twitch that you see people like somebody asks somebody something and they give their opinion on it. They might not mention those tiny little details they make a difference of what they're adding. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.